Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our Arise Son of Rome Let's Play, and I'm here with Megan Sullivan. What's up, everyone? I'm your local database editor, and we are both your girl gladiators for the day. We are playing That's Rise right. Son of Rome, and we are actually in the multiplayer matches. Uh, currently, Naomi is trying to search for a match so that she can take on the men. That's right. It's some gonna of the be gladiators awesome. in there. Yes, exactly. So, Naomi, you've actually spent some time with Rise Son of Rome. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience so far with the game? Yeah, so I've had a really great time so far. Oh, and I didn't introduce myself, I just realized, but <laughs> anyway. Everyone knows who <laughs> Naomi Kyle is. Come on. Um, uh, yeah, I haven't played any of the multiplayer stuff except for the demo I tried at the Xbox One tour, but for the main campaign, I definitely this think this game is a must play. Um, in my opinion, it's a beautiful game. Like it's if gorgeous. you want to get to see exactly what the Xbox One can do in terms of graphics, in terms of just all around look and, and feel, uh, there's a lot that this game accomplishes. Um, and it's just consider it like a good launch title demo to show you exactly what the Xbox One can do. And not only that, but the story is really engaging. Um, I'm not finished the game yet, but uh, from what I've played, it's it's really captivating and it's just fun to be a part of that Roman Empire world. Exactly. Who doesn't want to be a yeah. Roman gladiator? Exactly. I mean, come on, it's awesome. Yeah, it is really great. And actually, one of the main character they get to play as, who I forget now his name, but it's uh, let's just <laughs> pretend, let's just call him the son of Rome. Uh, exactly. I, think, I think his name is Mario. Yes. Marius, that's right, that's right. I knew it was with an M and that it ended in a Rius. Marius, Marcus, Yeah, something. they all end in a U.S. They, the all, they all end <laughs> up in a cool Latin ending. Exactly. So. Um, but it, he's really great, and he actually sounds a lot like uh, Russell Crowe from the Gladiator movie. So, uh, Did you see the Gladiator movie? Of course. Of course, Who everyone, everyone, everyone it's did. A, it's one of the best films I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so you're a big Russell Crowe fan and a big fan of Gladiator movies in general? In, uh, I mean, this is just one of them. I can't say it's like something I actually go out and seek when I go to like, hey, what's a movie I'd be really into? Exactly. Let's go with something that has to do with gladiators. It's not really something that I but if it's on, automatically it's on. think of. It's If it's on, I'm definitely going to watch it. Um, I think the part of my interest in it is the fact that I did take a cultural currents class, which if none of you know, oops, so I wasn't... No! Why did I quit this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're interrupting my story. Uh, so anyways, I just took a lot of classes that have to do with history, uh, in, in particular the art history uh, or the history of art. There is and amazing these, Greco-Roman yeah, art out there. Greco-Roman art, exactly. Uh, thanks for the terminology. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what's really interesting here, I just want to show you guys, is the um, if you're looking for a good way to just get a, a more... Uh, it just adds a, a cool factor for me is you get to choose your abilities or at least some of your final um, abilities when you take down a gladiator. They're based off of Roman uh, gods. So it's really interesting. And I always go with Diana. Oh, well, who do we have here? So oh, we've so got, so I from left to right. It, yeah, we had okay. Apollo, we had uh, so Mars. Jupiter, we had uh, Diana, and then who else? Son Mars. Mars. So there you go. Um, so those are the four that you have available. I think you unlock more as you go along. Very cool. And yeah. what uh, what powers do you get when you are Diane? Uh, so I saw that she had a certain XP that you get depending on what you or how good your takedowns are. So I'm going to explain a little bit more once we get into uh, to to show you to be able to show you exactly what. It changes. But. Excellent. Because I, I haven't played this game, but I have played a yeah. lot of God of War, so I was immediately interested in this game. Yeah. I hear it plays a lot also like uh, the Arkham series, which we're both a big fan of. So Yes. Definitely the combat system is very much like Arkham City. Uh, Do you have any cool bat gadgets in this game? No bat gadgets. <laughs> oh, too bad. Um... But what's really cool, uh, and you were saying how this is very historically accurate, which is interesting. Well, they I love that they show a little butt cheek. <laughs> my, uh, awesomely they are not afraid <laughs> of nakedness. My awesomely crafted outfit here. Exactly. Uh, it took a lot of time to... Oh, shit. I thought this was like... Oh, no. He, we're, so just, we're just jumping right in. Yeah. You're just, you're just I thought I was just like going guys. around with my, uh, my comrade here, who is not this guy as well. Now, one thing that I was explaining to you before is that, um, let me just take this guy down. Come on. There you go. See, Man, once you persistent. see that skull or that 
uh, symbol above his head, you can go and take him down. And it basically, it's like a QTE, because right. at that point you are not able to get attacked. Um, so you're basically safe until you complete the takedown. Um, and oh, that am. hurt. And so depending on, here you can press the, the D-pad and, oh, Actually, that's weird. I'm pressing the D-pad. It's not really doing anything. But um, in the game, in the campaign, you press the D-pad and you can choose whether your takedown gives you more health or it gives you... We're just running around here. Or it gives you um, more XP. Like, you have different choices here. That's interesting. How, yeah. So your takedowns lead to... They, they give you more of whatever it is you choose. Uh, I don't remember the other two choices in the D-pad, but they do show up while you're playing. Kill both traitors. Oh, God. Oh. So, yeah, you press A, and it'll defend against attacks. Which we were discussing earlier. It's not like Arkham, where you have to press Y. Exactly. That's right. So, so oh. it's a little bit different. I need to get away from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. You need to get and away from a lot of those guys. Yeah. Here, I'm going to go into safe mode, because I could just... Um, no, Braveheart. Go into a takedown. Stop it. Yeah, it's hard getting used to pressing A in the attacks, but as you go along, you can easily defend yourself. Yeah. Oof. And see the color that he then turns into, it always di differentiates um, depending on, I guess, it just randomly generates um, oh, which color schemes. That. So like, I'm pressing Y and X, but they're always different. They're always changing. Now I notice that you can, you can roll around quite easily despite your very 20 to 30 pound shield there. Yeah. It's kind of handy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Got to defend myself. This guy's massive. Yeah, he is huge. Yeah. One of the people, like, some of the characters that you get to take down in this game are just, un like, unnaturally huge. <laughs> and it's really hard sometimes to uh, win in a battle against them. I'm not sure what difficulty we're playing right now, but I'm pretty sure if I was in this situation, I would not survive. Mm, probably not. <laughs> well, I don't know. You never know. Come on. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, he's a tough one. The minute I, I get a, a, a symbol over his head or a... I, I'm not sure what the symbol is. Maybe we can try to look at what that is, but... No, I see that you get some sort of points for combos. Is it like Arkham that way, where yeah. you can do, like, a huge chain of combos and... Yeah, I'm still getting used to the combo side, but there's definitely that aspect. On, this guy. This guy is Maybe just I'm not going to go down. I think one of the things that you have to do is like keep continue to roll around so you can get one of his weak spots. Go. He's helping me now. There you go. Oh, okay. Just and I noticed the that there's actually a meter that has the Coliseum and it says entertained, amused. Do you have any idea what that's about? Is it just a, it's the crowd and how much you're entertaining them as you're running around fighting? Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Okay. Do you get anything? Do you get any bonuses for that? Or is it more like you get in serious trouble if they're, okay, so now they're disinterested? See, I don't even know. Like, It'd be interesting to find out. I just have to be able to go after uh Oh, they're bored. You better do something. I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, I don't know if at that point the match ends. And I'm not sure exactly what my multiplayer partner is doing here. <laughs> It seems to be having just as much trouble entertaining the audience here. That is, that is pretty <laughs> amazing. Where's Russell Crowe when you need him to throw a phone? Right. That'll get their attention. I'm just assuming I'm supposed to chase after this guy, because right now... See? Oh, oh okay. That no, guy might be following you. This guy's chasing you. me. Yeah, so I, think I probably you have to take need care to go him. after him. Yeah. Is my guess. Oh, did he uh, get me? Oh, he may, I don't know. It seems like yeah, you Yeah, my are, health was low. Your health is low. Okay. Maybe you'll recover. Yeah, I don't know. At this point, maybe he needs to come and recover me. I don't my, know. My comrade here, who seems to be... He's doing his own thing. Yeah. So this is an interesting point. Maybe we can uh, start discussing some of the interesting sides to the story of Rise. Yes, exactly. So apparently it's, you know, you play as a legionnaire or an officer, a uh, centurion named Marius. Yes. Uh, the game starts with you uh, trying to lead Emperor Nero who is most famous for fiddling while Rome burned, mm -hmm. uh, out of Rome. And apparently the game is told by flashbacks, correct? Like it starts sort of in the present and then flashes back to the past and sort of follows Marius's career right. in the Roman army. That's interesting. Yeah. And, and that's it's an interesting approach. It is. And I, I like that they have 
that heavy story element. See, I think now he's coming to get me. Hopefully, you just, just started kneeling there. Save me. Hurry up, dude. There Thank you. Thank you. Jeez I'm good. Louise. I think he was down for a while or busy with some guy. I guess. <laughs> busy with some guy. But he, was, he was busy doing something yeah. is what he was doing. Yeah. Um, but this is, again, something in the multiplayer. Like, I'm not 100% sure on some of the mechanics of the multiplayer side of Rise Son of Rome and this is part of the reason why we thought we'd explore a little bit. Um, exactly. I'm still, like I said, the from what I've played of, of Rise, it's uh, it's all the campaign. And what's really great, um, and this is just a side anecdote, uh, <laughs> every time they say S Rise or they say Son of Rome, which they do a lot in some of the dialogue, like in the cutscenes, uh -huh. Um, I'm always going and like, oh, if they s if they say rise, I'll go son of Rome, <laughs> or if they say son of Rome, I'll say rise, son of Rome. Exactly. <laughs> no one ever says Marius because you know whatever. That's very pedestrian. Yeah, I don't. Th I did notice that because a lot of the, uh, I guess there was just you know it's one of those things that back then everything was about honor and you know dignity Wh and making sure that you know everyone you spoke to you'd. S speak them and like address them properly so it says kill both traitors where are these traitors are they hiding i think it's these guys which oh, is okay. why i was running after the one the other one before this yeah it be seems like just guy. running in in circles here yeah and actually you know what i know uh you can probably i don't know what you know i don't know i know i am speaking in another language. i know that you know that i know that you don't know <laughs> that i don't know that you don't know um you can do you can use spears, which is, I think, why it's said to go after them. Um, okay. And I was noticing that you could somewhere along this side, I believe, here. You can uh, grab a spear, which usually lets you here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can actually... Uh, and then you could just go and spear gun them. Very nice. Which, like, I'm going to try to do with this guy. Oof. But no. He came too quickly. Okay. Uh-oh. Well... I tried. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Got to be a little faster. Yeah. A little faster on the draw. Yeah. It's nope. actually one of those things where you have to time it. Yeah. That's why I was... I'm interesting hesitant. to know if you get to take on any animals, if you get to take on any emperors. True fact, some emperors would participate in the oh. games, but of course it was very, very staged. Oh. You did not get to... Uh, Gladiator, the movie was both inaccurate, horribly inaccurate, and somewhat accurate about some of its history. And interesting. Yeah, you did not get to kill the emperor in the Colosseum. That was a big no-no, but some... The emperor would never risk his life. No, not so much, but there were emperors who... Uh, uh, would go to the Colosseum and, and do this whole spectacle. So I think uh, Caligula, Claudius, Commodus would participate, but it was, again, very staged. Interesting. Yeah, because obviously there, they were, a lot of them were very crazy and not very popular with the Senate. Right. And uh, there were always conspiracies against these emperors. So, you know, yeah. in order to ensure that, uh oh, what's going on there? I think he's dying. Oh, no. See, had he just come save me, I would have helped him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. Round yeah. failed. It's okay. All right. How are we doing on time here? So we're probably at the, oh, we're at the 13 minute mark. So we could probably round this off and make this one of our sign offs. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We are going to play some more Rise, Son of Rome and exactly. play another match. So stay tuned for our next episode, which should be out in the coming day. See you Bye. later.